Hey guys, I hope you're good. This is Max from MHS Pod, and today we will do a workflow video. I will show you how you can add all these amazing details on a simple mesh with an alpha pack. What is an alpha pack? An alpha pack is a series of grayscale images. This pack is designed by Travis Davids and it allows you to add all these nice details. The title is uh, ZBrush Industrial Alpha, but today we will use it into a Substance Painter, so it's not only designed for ZBrush. To follow this tutorial, you will not uh, be um, obligated to have uh, Cinema 4D or Substance. You can just watch it as a simple video because uh, I will mostly show you uh, workflow uh, tips so it's not a uh, real uh, follow along. Uh, hope you will enjoy this video um, and before starting this uh, video I will uh, invite you to join of course our Instagram but join our Facebook group incredible people posting incredible uh, renders and stuff this is a really great community you can share your animation your uh, illustration your work in progress and it's really nice of course you can also join our discord you will have the link under the description and we also have opened a reddit actually <laughs> there's a few people but i promise it will be really nice soon so what's the purpose of today today we will add all these nice detail on a simple mesh you see my mesh is uh, a only uh, a simple flat mesh and I can add all this extra detail with the alpha pack uh, you can check and get this alpha pack on our brand new website mdcommunity.net uh, you can uh, get it on the shop here Travis Davids and if you click on this um, industrial pack you can get it on his Gumroad only five dollars it's not expensive for all the content you have guys so let's start and see what uh, we will need to go into Substance Painter. To go into Substance Painter, we need to have any kind of mesh with UVs. UVs um, is uh, like my mesh uh, flatten. So let's check uh, what it looks like in BP UV Edit. This is my uh, all my polygons flatten. And with this, I will be able to paint over this. Uh, I will also link you on my uh, on the description uh, three videos on the Cinema 4D Octane uh, to Substance Painter videos because I show you three different workflows to uh, export and import your maps. Uh, let's go into Substance. If you want to follow, you can take any kind of mesh with UVs. But you can just watch it so I will go into substance file new and I will import uh, my mesh so I will select uh, template PBR metallic roughness I will go into file and I will select body for marvelous I will set my normal map format to OpenGL because I'm using octane and I will click OK I have my super nice mesh please do not leave a comment about this okay and I will be able to paint over it substance painter is a really nice software and you can get a free subscription if you are a substance uh, a, a student <laughs> and it's the same thing for cinema 4d I also apologize uh, for my accent and my English I'm from Paris and I'm new to English it's only uh, three two or th three years that I speak, uh, try to speak English so I can make some mistakes. Right now I will uh, bake my maps. Uh, why I will bake my uh, maps? Because uh, Substance al allows you to use uh, really nice filters in addition to all the uh, brushes 
and it will use algorithm that will, for example, uh, put a material on all the cavities. You can use the curvature, the ambient occlusion, and many things to add details to your mesh. But if you want to have all these nice details, you need to go under texture set settings and click on bake mesh maps. For the tutorial, I will go in 2K, but uh, the more uh, details you have on your map, the more details you will get on your smart materials so let's click uh, bake materials on your smart materials or on your filters because uh, uh, smart materials is just a co is just a combination of uh, several materials so I hope you guys understand everything it's not a real tutorial it's more a workflow video uh, and I hope you will uh, discover nice uh, thing to customize your mesh. I've already made a um, step-by-step tutorial with uh, uh, Substance and Octane. So if you are just looking for this, uh, please check the video under the description. Today I, I just want to show you how useful can be uh, an alpha pack. I will go back on my layer, delete this first one and go under the smart material tab and I will drag and drop a simple material. Uh, you can drag and drop any kind of material, uh, it's just uh, for you to understand how it works. I will take uh, the square wheel, steel wear armor. I like this one and if I go and texture set settings I can see what it looks like in 4k and I think it's uh, it's nice with a lot of detail but right now I want to add volumes on top of it and oh I will add volume on top of it I have uh, two uh, things to do I can select a material and use a black mask but if I want to only add volumes and do not um, add for example uh, material I can create here uh, fill layer I will go back here I will disable the color the rough the metal and the normal here you see my eight slider so it's black it means that uh, I have no uh, eight information if I go to the left it will go in inwards and if I go there it will add volume on top of my mesh to paint uh, on my mesh I will add a black mask so I will right click there and click add black mask if I click on my mask you see I can click on my material or on my mask I can uh, choose an alpha so uh, let's go under alphas and I can use the pre-made uh, substance alphas but I see way, 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 way too much of uh, these guys on uh, Instagram, everywhere. So that's why I will use the Travis Davids pack. I love say his name. So nice, so nice, so like a great name for a French guy. No, Travis Davids seems like a blockbuster name. Okay. I will drag and drop my material right there. I will select my first material, go back to the end. I will hit uh, Maj to select all my materials. Click on Alpha. And I will import uh, it to the current station. You can also add them to your shelf, but if you have uh, way uh, too much materials, it will take a long time uh, to open uh, if you have too much things so I will only import them to current session and I will have access to all these beauties and right now I can select one of them and I can just paint over my, uh, my mesh so let's decrease the size and you see I'm able to add really nice details everywhere okay so that's the magic of an alpha pack if I want to add all these nice uh, little why my octane disappeared mm -hmm. 
if I want to add uh, all the nice uh, glowing uh, part like this, I can use um, an emissive and it's really nice. So let's go on substance and let's uh, delete this. Let's go to texture set settings and let's click on the plus right there. Let's go to emissive. Yes, man, great. Right now, I will be able to add a new uh, fill layer, but I will also uh, be able to paint an emissive. An emissive is a light, so I will choose a light, for example, a red light, and it's applying to my wall mesh, and I don't want this. So I can right click there, click add a black mask, and on my black mask, I can um, paint my lights. You see but no volume let's go back there eight let's increase the eight and i will be able to paint volume and light and all these slides can be uh glowy inside octane render so nice so these are real light you can use some post process effects to make them glowing like this really nice I love I love it I love emissive, emissive material so feel free to have fun and customize your uh, your mesh think about the visual coherence do not add to many different type of shape um, and try to, to think about uh, what is the meaning of uh, each piece like if I add uh, several parts does this part have a sense okay if you are doing design that's really important to ask yourself um, question like you will not uh, add any kind of um, thing if you don't know what it is I see this way too many times so don't add uh, shapes that do not have a sense in your mesh only uh, if you are experimenting so okay? Uh, okay, and now just, just play with, with this. Okay, it's uh, the new uh, the new I iPhone directly inside the head. iPhone 20, man, nice. And have fun to paint the wall mesh. Feel free to add other materials like you can uh, go under materials. Let's take, for example, uh, I don't know. Uh, it's just to show you how cool it is. I can add this gold pure add a black mask. Let's go there. Let's go back on your alphas and I can select an alpha. This one is nice. And you can paint uh, with your material. And of course, you can change anything. You can add eight. So nice. I love. Uh, I love this. I love all cool substances and you see uh, really quickly I can add uh, things to my uh, to my mesh. Right. Just to show you how, how it works, and uh, I think it's uh, it's really great. And on, on top of it, you can also uh, add um, nice materials, or you can use. Um, for example, uh, generators and generators will allow you to uh, use, for example, a material only in uh, certain areas. Like this one is a uh, edge wear. You can, you can see what what it's doing. Yeah. It's nice. Inver, for example, <laughs> you can use tripener. Okay, it changed nothing. Okay, just to show you uh, all the possibilities, I I'm actually making something really ugly with this, and I will stop it. But uh, this is all useful. Uh, an alpha pack can be really useful, and I saw we in back in the past we used the this to texturize some video game assets. Um, back in the past, man, I failed to back. To go back uh, too far in the past on Instagram, I guess we are too far in the future. 
but I will try to find back the image on my computer. Thanks, thanks Instagram, you are amazing. And right now I'm losing so much time. Okay, it's this. So you see all the details on this um, little spaceship uh, is uh, added with uh, substance. Basically, it's a, a really simple mesh, and uh, all the the little uh, parts like this and colors. And stuff were used uh, and designed uh, with Substance Painter so it's a, it's a really nice software even if you're only doing motion design you can quickly add uh, details uh, this also was done uh, with uh, Substance you see uh, I guess on this one too few details were done with Substance Substance ev everywhere Substance is a uh, really really nice to add uh, details and of course in this one substance man really amazing so it just to let you know uh, that you can add uh, many details with uh, substance and uh, of course uh, also on this artwork this the, the triangle the, the, the shapes uh, were uh, customized with uh, substance and uh, it's uh, a really great software that you can get for free if you are a student and it's, uh, it's really great okay guys thank you for watching this uh, little video uh, I have three videos on the YouTube channel if you type uh, substance yeah I guess you can find a really useful tutorial but I will also add them in the description substance painter to obtain render really useful tutorial I show you the the, the process to create this uh, this nice uh, material to import your your metallic uh, maps it's nice I have also this tutorial for uh, material and emissive metal and emissive so it's also nice because I show you how to create uh, simple things with emissive material really simple tutorial but quite useful and in addition the substance painter live link uh, really nice uh, that's a plugin uh, oh wow uh, that's a plugin and you you will be able to send uh, everything back in your uh, in your cinema 4d just by uh, going into substance Clicking there, selecting the So, no uh, painful things to do to export your mesh. It's quite, uh, it's quite nice. Thank you guys for watching this uh, little workflow slash test video. I invite you to go on our website and also check uh, the new um, the contest. Every month we have contests. So if you are now you can do the dark future new contest if you are in the future i guess we have new contests you can watch uh, the previous contest amazing entries with uh, 3d motion design animation uh, we also get some pixel art uh, it was a really great contest amazing you have all the rules of the contest on the page so if you want to do things and win things like a ticket for the upcoming MDC meetup t-shirt features and all this cool thing feel free to check the contest and see you later on internet